Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can already tell today, we're going to be doing the first Halloween look for 2017 on my channel. And as you can already tell from my makeup, it's going to be a black cat inspired makeup tutorial for Halloween. And it's very easy to do, you guys. I'll show you step by step what I did in the video and the products that I use. I do have a palette uh, by Makeup Forever that I use in the video. Uh, it's very expensive, so I also included an affordable palette that is basically a dupe, um, and it's only around $8, so I think you guys will appreciate that. Um, and you can use the flash palette for so many different looks. So today I used mainly the flash palette for this entire look, except for I did use uh, Fenty Beauty Foundation and Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, but you can use the entire flash palette to create your concealer, your eyebrow product, um, your eyeliner, uh, lipstick, blush, basically anything that you want using this palette, which is why I bought it. I love it so much. So I already prepped my skin and put my foundation on. Any foundation will work. Um, I use the Fenty Beauty foundation today. And then to contour, I used a cool matte brown color from this contour palette. It's actually a cream highlight foundation and contour palette. So I use this shade right here. Right there. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. And I'm using the Anastasia uh, 7B brush as well. And we're going to overdraw them a little bit as well. So I'm being very liberal with the product here. And I'm just flicking the product up to give the illusion of some longer hairs here in the front. And then I'm going to fill in the top. Pretty high arch here. But again, you can do whatever you want. So we're going to go and do the other brow using the same product. And again, just going in and doing those hairs in the front. Shazam. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is go into my flash palette here. And I'm going to create a really intense cat eye. And I'm also going to add in the nose and the mouth as well. So I'm going to use this black shade here. Flash palette. And a cheaper version of this, you can find it on Amazon, I believe, is the Eye Magic 12 Flash Color Case. It looks like almost identical to the flash palette. And the color payoff is actually pretty nice. So... If you don't have the $100 or if you don't want to spend the money, you can use this palette right here. I'm going to use the Fine Eyeliner Brush by Real Techniques, and I'm going to go into the black. So that I'm just going to fill in the black and I want to continue draw the mouth. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm just going to align my lips. All right. All right, guys, so next we're going to do the eyes. I'm going to use the NYX Full Coverage Concealer for this. This is in the shade beige. I'm going to use the Sigma Smoke Screen Palette. And I'm going to go into the color Thunderhead, which is this nice brown matte shade right here. I'm going to use a crease brush. Use a Sigma Diffuse Crease E38. So we're just going to pop in this transition color in the crease first. Just all over. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So next we're going to go in with this shimmery shade called Veiled right here. Highlight the brow bone. I'm going to use the Wide Shader E59 by Sigma. Concentrate most of that shadow right on the arch. Sweep the excess. Okay. And I'm just tapping it in so that I get the best color payoff. Next I'm going to go in with the darkest shade right here. And that is almost jet. It's a really gorgeous black color. Just tapping off the excess and I'm using an E-Sigma Exact Blend E32 brush. So I'm going to start lining my lid here and the lower lash line. Just creating a basic shape here. Really want it to be bold. And I'm just going to extend that into the crease. So I'm going to go in with the Sigma E55 eyeshader. And I'm going to go into that same black shade and cover the lid. Just pat it on. Just gonna bring that down on the lower lash line, all the way to the inner corner here. Just really smoke it out. And I'm just taking the brush and you can use a more exacting brush, something that's going to give you more of a straight line. I want mine a little more smoked out, so. Just extending that wing all the way out. Okay. Now that you have that color concentrate on the lid, you can go back in with your diffuse blender crease brush or whatever crease brush you have. This one's a little bit smaller than the E40, so it really blends well. And I'm just going to go in and blend out the line between the black and the brown here. Just a little bit. And I'm going to take this brown shade and just continue down the front here. And just contour the nose. It's actually a nice color to contour your nose with because it's more cool tone than warm. I 
I'm going to take a smudge brush by Sigma. This one's the E21. I'm going to go into that black shade and just make sure that the lines are really nice underneath the eye. And I want them to be really intense, so just sweeping that color across the lower lash line. Making the wing intense. Just like that. So I'm just taking that color from the inner corner and extending it forward to come to a point here. And you can use gel eyeliner for this part if you want, whatever you're comfortable with. You can also use liquid. Alright, so I'm going to go to the other side and do the same process and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now that I have both of my eyes done um, with all my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with uh, an eyeliner. I'm going to use this Tarte Double Take Eyeliner which has a liquid and a pencil. So I'm going to go in with the pencil and just fill in my waterline to complete the look for the eyes. So I'm just doing the waterline both top and bottom. Alright, now that we've got a nice smoked out look here, I've already started putting some marks here you can see using the black from the flash case and this eyeliner brush so basically what I'm doing you guys is making some leopard print marks on my face so I'll just show you how I do that so I just zoom in and do sort of like a half moon shape just like that nothing special Go ahead and darken the other ones. It was a little dark. And I'm just going to make more marks towards my hairline here. So I'm going to use the brown and the gold, and I'm going to take, I got an itch, <laughs> here comes my dog, <laughs> hi baby, come say hi, come on, come on, you say hi to all the pretty people, you say hi, look, what's that, what is it, okay, so we're going to go into the brown color, and I'm using a smudge brush, just use any kind of small detailer brush that you can and I'm gonna go into the brown and I'm gonna fill in the space so I'm taking the brown and filling in the middle part okay so I'm just sort of blending those colors together and then I'm going to go in and highlight using the gold shade here. And I'm going to go in with a pointed brush. Now this is normally for lips. This is the Sephora lip brush. Um, but I'm going to use it to add a little bit of gold highlight to my spot. So 
This gold shade is so pretty. I don't know, can you guys see that? Such a nice highlight. So I'm going to take a little bit of this gold shade and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and get a little more intense. Um, so I'm going to go in and finish the look. Um, so I'm going to obviously add some whiskers and some cute little dots on my whiskers. So I'm going to use the angled, actually just any fine tip you can find. The Sephora brushes, uh, the ends of the brushes come to a point. So this is the lip brush, but I'm using the opposite end. And I dipped into the black color from the flash palette. And I'm just going to go in and add some cute whiskers, some cute little dots around my mouth. Alright guys, now I'm going to create my whiskers. And I'm going to use that angled eyebrow liner brush if I can find it. So many brushes here. And I'm just going to go in and create some cute black whiskers. Ooh, but before I do that, I'm going to use a makeup wipe and clean up the fallout under my eyes and do my concealer first to give myself a nice highlight. Makeup wipe. And I'm just going to go in and wipe up the excess. I'm going to go in using the light shape tape concealer to give myself a really bold highlight. So I'm just going to add that. Just like that. I'm going to take my double duty tart blending sponge and I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go in using a concealer brush by Sigma. This is the F64. And I'm just going to go and blend this concealer out. Just want to make sure you don't blend any of that black eyeshadow or eyeliner in with the concealer. You just want to, well, nice and even, and just melt it right in with the contour. Alright guys, so I'm going to go in with my whiskers. I'm taking the black shade from the flash palette and the angled brow brush, and I'm just going to go in and create some cute little whiskers. So I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade Stone Fox. And I'm just going to, I wanted the two-tone lip, so I have the black on top, and I'm going to use this color to line the bottom. Just make sure you get the excess off. So I'm going to go in with my Tardist uh, Lash Paint Mascara, open up a new box here. Um, so this is a close up of the look you guys. And I got my cute little cat ears here.
So that is the final look, you guys, for Halloween look number one uh, for 2017. It's an easy and affordable look, and like I said, I highly recommend getting a flash palette or a case just like this. Again, you can find the Eye Magic palette on Amazon and create this entire look. So I hope you guys really like this sexy, scary cat tutorial for Halloween and I had a lot of fun making it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and send me some love in the comments down below. And don't forget to stay beautiful and extra this Halloween. Make sure that you guys stay safe and above all have fun and happy Halloween.